Hi, my name is Ian from Vintage Tractor Engineer and today we're going to look at changing the starting ring gear from the flywheel of a tractor engine. This tractor happens to be a Massey Ferguson but the theory is the same for most engines. The flywheel on all engines is situated at the back of the engine and we've had to split the tractor in two to gain access. Once we've taken the flywheel from the engine we can start to inspect the damage and have a look at why it occurs. This is the edge of the starting ring which faces the starter motor. When we operate the ignition key, the starter slides the pinion forward and then starts to turn the engine, as so. This becomes damaged over time or due to a faulty starter motor. The starting ring here is held to the flywheel not by bolts or welding but purely by the force of contraction, the ring being smaller than the flywheel. To remove it, we've drilled a small hole through the starting ring between two of the teeth. We can then use a chisel to crack it, springing it open to get it off without damaging anything. Once we've cracked right through, we can just lift off the old ring, as so. This is the new starting ring gear. We're now ready to look at it a little bit closer to make sure we get it on the right way around and just to see how it does fit to the flywheel. And we can see in detail that the front of the teeth have a slight recess on them and the back of the teeth is flat and equal. This side is the side which must face the starter motor. Once we've sorted out which way the ring goes, we can then trial fit. You can see there that the ring is smaller than the flywheel. So the way we're going to get it on there is we're going to heat it with a gas torch, make it expand and it will then drop straight on. Once everything's cooled down, the ring is stuck on the flywheel and it's all ready to go back on the tractor. And that's how easy it is to fit a starting ring gear to a flywheel. <laughs>